that morning students. Today we will be answering WIAG objective question. This is to complement the practical that we have been working on for a very long, for a long time now. Now, whenever you want to answer wire question, there is a difference between wire question and NEPO question. You have to take note of that and be careful to take note of this. In wire question, the questions are fragmented or divided into two parts. We have, we have section A and section B. Section A has questions numbering from 1 to 30. And that is purely on geometry and the rest of them. Then section B tests your advanced knowledge of the subject. In this particular case, you will find yourself answering a question either from building drawing or uh, mechanical drawing. In NACO, they combine them randomly. That's the difference between the two. But in WAEC, they are separated. This informs the reason why I concentrate more on machine drawing. I have said this several times before you people. So this morning, let us begin, please, without wasting much of our time. I decided to design this uh, tutorial in two formats. As you can see in the live, I will be giving answer live here to some of the questions that do not need to illustration. So you can see me doing that. Then, if I come to question that needs illustration, you see another video that will pop up. If you join the two together so that you can see how the, these questions are really answered. Now, let's go. Question number one. Radius template is used for drawing A, parallel lines in any position. B, horizontal and vertical lines with T square. C, fillet and run out in, co in corners. D. Smooth curves through points that do not lie on an arc of circles. The word reduce template is another name for French curve. The answer to this question is D. Smooth curve through points that do not lie on an arc of circles. B. The thin line used to ensure uniformity in height of letters, of letters lettering is called A, construction lines, B, projection lines, C, guideline, D, dimension lines. This line is called guideline. The answer is C. It is C. And the distance is a thin line. There are, there are thin lines not only virtually not visible, the distance between them is approximately four millimeters. It's in between them that you sketch your right off. Then number three is explained in the video below. Number three. The question reads, which of the following figure does not have redundant dimensions? If you look at A, the easiest way to answer this type of question is to check the drawing and see. You will realize that all the drawings, any drawing among them that has one dimension repeated two times. So if you look at option A, five millimeters appear twice. Option B, 20 millimeters appear twice. Option C, the angle 45 degree appeared twice. Then option D, there is no single angle there that appeared twice. So the answer should be D. Number four, in representative fraction, the ratio of the numerator to denominator is A. Shows the ratio of the drawn that size to the natural size. B, shows the ratio of the natural size to the drawn uh, size. C, represents the number of times the actual size is drawn. D, denotes the actual size of the drawn object. The answer here is, is A, 
How do we get it? In representative fraction, there is a small illustration I normally use to fasten that equation to the mind of students. Now, representative fraction or scale is equal to P all over R. P all over R. P stands for picture image. R stands for real image. So P is always above and then R is below. So since this P is above, you can see that the drawn image, drawn size is the one that is above the natural size. That size A. Question number five is contained in the video below. Number five. The interior angle of a regular non agon is what? They gave us four options here. I know this is capable of confusing you. So the easiest thing to do is this. First of all, calculate and find the external angle of the polygon given. And the easiest way to find the external angle of the polygon given is to divide the number of sides of that polygon by 360. Is to give you the external angle. This is what I mean. For each side, you have pentagon. Like this. This is what I mean by external angle. External what? Angle. Alright? To find this particular angle, or let me just call it theta. Theta is the external angle. This is not the angle we require for you. To find this angle, divide the polygon. Number of sides, there are five here. So divide this particular uh, 360 by the number of sides of the polygon and that is 360 360 this is the polygon that you have I'm using pentagon now the external angle is this I call it theta to get this certain angle divide 360 by the number of sides of the polygon there are five of them here so divide that part, we're going to get 72 degrees. This 72 degrees is not what this question is requesting. You will just get that 72 degrees, which is here. The one the question is asking for is the internal one. So to find it, simply divide, uh, subtract this one from 108, from 108, the angle you get gives you the internal angle of that polygon. So in this case, 180 minus 72 is going to be 108. Degree. But in this equation, it's non agon, it's nine sided polygon. 360 divided by nine is 40. Then you say what? 40, 180 minus uh, 40 will give you the answer, which is also D. You get that? Question number six. Use figure one to answer question six and seven. We are to use figure one to answer question six and seven. These are two right angle triangles joined by the line PR. Now, number six says the angle PST, the angle PST is A, optus B, reflex C, acute D, perpendicular. The answer is A. The angle PST is greater than 90 degrees, but it's less than. 180 degrees. D, number seven. Number seven. The value of the angle RPS. The value of the angle RPS is what? Is dash A, 40. B, 50. C, 80. D, 100 degrees centigrade. The angle there is 50. The answer is B, half. The two strokes on the lines on the slant of these two triangles show that the two lines are equal. For that reason, the angle at Q is the same thing as the angle at S. Therefore, when you subtract this from 90 degrees, you cannot get the angle at what? P R P S, which is what? 50 degree. Question number eight. Question number eight. A triangle whose sides are in the ratio three, 
ratio 4, ratio 7 is A, equilateral, B, scalene, C, right angle, D, isosceles. The answer is scalene triangle. None of the sides are equal. That ratio tells it. Number nine, in triangle JLK, shown in figure two, line JP is A, medium, medium, B, hypotenuse, C, base, D, altitude. The answer is D. The answer is D, the altitude, that's the height of the triangle. Number 10. How many faces has a tetrahedron? A tetrahedron is simply another name for square base prism. It has six sides. The answer is C. It has six sides. The answer is C. Number 11. Number 11. A line within a circle and touching two points on the circumference without passing through the center of the circle is A and A radius, B 